our education system in its present format fit for purpose in light of the fast paced world these youngsters are going into and in light of a post COVID technologically enveloped world that they're entering? Well, I think the, the education system as it's presently constructed is perfectly designed for a world that no longer exists. Now, how how quickly we can bring, bring in, how, how quickly we can actually close that lag is a moot point because the forces of the bureaucracy work, move very slowly. But I think we, we really need to, you know, young people are talking now not for a job for life like I had, but a job for the life of the contract. You know, give them a mobile phone and a passport and they're good to go anywhere in the world. So to answer that question, I think, are we preparing them for a life of tests or tests of life? We're coming to a crossroads now where there's a critical mass of people, parents, educators, technologists, we realize that there's a lag and we need to address that lag and make it more fit for purpose and teach the skills for the 21st century. But those with the power to address it, A, can they see it? And B, will they expedite measures to do it? Because I see. If we, I, I, I see move, if we don't move, we're lost. I see positive science, Teresa. I, I see positive science between all the stakeholders, being in the Department of Education, be it the teachers on the ground, and, and also the partners in business and elsewhere, and parents that see the, the rising level of anxiety and stress, etc. I think there's a growing consensus that change has to occur, and that change and the flight path of that change has to happen quicker than perhaps we would have liked it to happen. happen. But I think there's a critical mass of people that, that realize and sense the urgency to make sure that, because to, for, let's be very frank, school fails too many young people. And I would ask the question, if you leave a school and you don't know a sense, you don't have a sense of self-worth, what your strengths and values are, can you really say you've had a good education? And too many young people leave school not knowing uh, uh, their strengths, not knowing their values and not having a sense of self-worth. And I think we really need to change that. We need to change that sooner rather than later. Uh, you know, the Irish always prided themselves in having the best education system in the world. How would you rank it now? I think we have some of the most, the most fantastic educators and I've been privileged to meet many of them. I think we need to help and, and actually input into their well-being as well, may I say, which is really important, you know. Teaching is hard work because it's hard work. And I think it, it takes enormous reservoirs of energy. And I think we need to really invest in our educators conscientiously and, and unapologetically, I would say. I think it's up there, but I had a, a, a very interesting conversation with an educator in Finland yesterday, a very renowned educator, who says that their a reputation as the leading educators in the world is not, uh, it's very uh, myopic. So, I, I, again, I don't want to play the ratings game on that question, Teresa. It's very easy to give a simplistic trite answer. I sure. think um, all it, there's no there, there's no perfect education system out there. Yeah. Wherever yeah. I see, it's about making it fit for purpose for the Irish context and yeah. where it comes internationally. Well, that's uh, well. Unfortunately, I think the PISA and the OECD, etc., have, have have invested in that game of 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 comparison and ranking which probably is retrograde in ways. We've got to um, play to the cultural differences as well. And on a more micro level, play to individual differences and applauding individual differences, would you not think? I would definitely say, again, I, you know, one size does not fit all. And I think you're right, the cultural context uh, is specific to the Irish circumstance. But I think we hold our own, certainly, in terms of what we're doing. But I think we'll be judged by our capacity to change and pivot to meet the, the changing and evolving needs of young people, not as they were, but as they are now and as they will be in the future. That's the litmus test for our education system and our stakeholders going forward. <music>